Welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things Salesforce and other tools. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the world of Rollup Summary Fields, an essential tool for calculating values from related records in Salesforce. Let's get started. A Rollup Summary Field is a powerful feature in Salesforce that allows you to calculate values from related records, such as those in a related list. This field displays a value in a master record based on the values of fields in its detail records, which must be related through a master detail relationship. You can create roll-up summary fields on any custom object that's on the master side of a master detail relationship or on standard objects related to custom objects. With roll-up summary fields, you have the flexibility to perform different types of calculations. You can count the number of detail records related to a master record or calculate the sum, minimum value, or maximum value of a field in the detail records. The field types you can use in a roll-up summary field depend on the type of calculation you choose. For instance, you can use number, currency, and percent fields when selecting sum as the roll-up type, while min or max type allows number, currency, percent, date, and date time fields. Now let's move into a demo and create a roll-up summary in our Salesforce org. First, make sure you have a master detail relationship between two objects. In our example, we have a custom object called account as the master and another object called opportunity as the detail. Now, go to the Salesforce setup by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner and selecting Setup from the drop-down menu. In the left-hand sidebar under Platform Tools, click on Object Manager. From the list of custom objects, click on the master object for which you want to create the roll-up summary field. In our case, it's the Account object. Now click on the Fields and Relationships tab and then select New to create a new field. In the Field Creation Wizard, choose Roll-up Summary as the field type and click Next. Here, you need to define the properties for your Roll-up Summary field. Start by providing a descriptive field label, like Total Opportunity Amount. Next, choose the Roll-up type based on the calculation you want to perform. For this example, let's select Sum to calculate the Total Opportunity Amount. Now it's time to set the related object and field whose values you want to summarize. Choose the opportunity object as the related object and amount as the field. If you want to filter the records that contribute to the calculation, you can define the filter criteria here. For our example, we'll want to only look at opportunities that have been won. Finally, review your settings, and if everything looks good, click Save to create the roll-up summary field. To see the roll-up summary field on the account record page, add it to the desired page layout using the page layout editor. Congratulations! You've successfully created a roll-up summary field in Salesforce. Now when you view an account record, the total opportunity amount field will automatically display the sum of all related invoice amounts. Salesforce automatically recalculates roll-up summary fields when related records change. However, in some cases, you might need to trigger a mass recalculation manually. Changes to certain elements like field definitions, formula expressions, or currency conversion rates can also trigger recalculation. Remember, certain fields like long text area, multi-select pick list, and lookup fields are not supported in the field column of roll-up summary filters. Additionally, avoid referencing roll-up summary fields from child records as their values may become outdated. That's a wrap on roll-up summary fields in Salesforce. We hope you found this video informative and helpful for your Salesforce journey. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting Salesforce tutorials. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.